All right, so I wanted to cover this table because uh, Will had posted it on the boards and there's been some, some discussion about what to do and how much to do, right? So the first thing we need to understand is that this, this table is really a table with two uh, rows of column headers. And in the first row, uh, first column, we have a blank column header in the top above outcome. And then in these other two, we have two merge cells, which are okay, we're gonna fix all of this, not a problem. Someone else said, hey, we wanna make sure we use cell IDs so that the, the data cells get the right headers. You can if you want to, but it's extra work you don't have to do because in this situation, it's going to stack these headers exactly the way we would expect. We would hear under 24 months, effective size, and then negative 2.46 uh, star star or asterisk asterisk, depending upon which screen reader you're using. Now, you'll notice that I did change the abbreviation of MOS, which is a not a standard abbreviation, to months spelling it out because otherwise you're going to hear MOS under 24 MOS, which is not a good user experience. So MO period is voiced as months in uh, some screen readers, but not always. So just be, be aware of the abbreviations we use and try to try to avoid them when we can, right? So we need to do a few things before we start playing with the table editor. The first thing we're gonna do is just look at what we have. And we can see we do have this blank cell. Now, if we were to just delete the blank cell and make this TH span, two rows, it would be a problem because it's in the bottom of the two rows. We need to move it up so that it spans correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify this TH and we're going to move it up underneath the in the first row and then we're going to delete that empty cell. Now we're going to go into this TH and we're going to, we're going to go hit properties and then edit attributes. And we are gonna set the row span from one to two. And we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna hit close. And now we're gonna click out of the table editor and then go back. And now you can see we accurately have what we would expect, which is outcome to be a merged two span, a two row span between under 24 months and, and, uh, and the effective size rows. Right. And we have our first column set as THs and those are just fine. Right. And but we do need to set all of these into THs as well. So we're going to set those as column. Now, this is what Will was doing correctly. Now, he went in and clicked on each one individually holding down shift. But you can also just draw a square kind of touching all of them and then go to cell properties and select scope of column. Now, you'll see that the column span is uh, got this little warning symbol because some of these span two columns and some span one, which is just fine. If you wanted to check them, you could just select these top two and see, yep, they do span two, right? So we can save this document and then open Callus back up and look at this document and we can see, yep, everything looks like it lines up correctly. So now the table format is exactly what we would expect. Right. So let's go ahead and set our cell property for outcome. Now, outcome is set to row currently, but it seems like it should be set to column. I may be wrong here, but it should be set to column, I would think. Right. And then now when we go back into our table editor and just double check, yep, it is set to column. Right. We are good to go. And when we were to, he were to hear this inside our screen reader, we would hear under 24 months, effective size, negative 0.404. Right. So that's all you really need to do. If you want to go in and set cell IDs, you could. But it's a, if you're doing it manually, boy, that's a lot of extra work. If you have Common Look or Access PDF, it makes it much easier. But if I had to do this by hand, I definitely would not be wasting the time or spending the time to go in and set these manually. Right. So I hope that gives everybody some some hints on what to do here. Uh, I definitely wanted to clear the air here a little bit and give Will the, the help he was looking for. So hope you guys got some good information about that. Always happy to answer questions. Thanks a lot, guys.